So once you've created an asset, you need to register it in Xero so that you can run depreciation and your reports accurately reflect the profitability of your business. I'll show you how to register them one by one and in bulk. Let's get started. Let's start with this first fixed asset. Click into it. I already entered some basic details when I created the asset. To register it, you need to select an asset type. Asset types are set up in fixed asset settings. You set them up with defaults for depreciation. This makes it easier to manage fixed assets and keep things consistent. We'll look at setting up fixed assets in another video. Here there are a couple of asset types already set up, computer and office equipment. For this asset, I'll select office equipment. The asset type office equipment was set up with defaults for depreciation rate and method. You can see here the method is declining balance and the rate is 40%. I could change this, but I'm pretty happy with these defaults. Cost limit and residual value are optional. If you think the asset will have some value after it's been fully depreciated, maybe you're likely to sell it after so many years, then you can enter a residual value. Here, I'll leave this blank. Cost limit refers to the threshold for deciding whether the purchase should be classified as a fixed asset and recorded in the balance sheet, or if it should be classified as an expense and recorded in the profit and loss report. Again, I'll leave this blank. Once you're happy with the information you've entered, click register. The asset is now registered and has moved from the draft to the registered tab. It's important to note that all we've done is enter a fixed asset in the fixed asset register in Xero. It won't yet appear in the balance sheet until you've recorded an account transaction in Xero and allocated it to a fixed asset code. If you've already selected an asset type for your assets, you can register them directly from this screen. Select the assets and register. Once you've registered your fixed assets, you'll be able to run depreciation. Take a look at this video to learn how. <laughs> <laughs>